Nikki. This is kind of what I expected to see today instead of like what we saw with Sketchy. Your color splats go with each shape of the heart and you actually create a lot of cool textures and depths with your color tones. It's a super smooth technique. The use of the black and the way that you gave it that brush stroke feel, it has a really strong look and it will hold up as to what it is over time. I think you did a great job here. Thank you. Kids can be tricky. There's not a whole lot of wrinkles and dimensions. It doesn't necessarily have to be wrinkles in order to add character. Honestly, I kind of like doing kid portraits. This tattoo is amazing. The face, you nailed his character, the likeness is totally there. I like how you went with the shadow underneath the chin. You went a little bit lighter. It kind of brings out the edge of the chin, which was a good call. It's awesome. Doing this in black and gray, you gave yourself the time to really make it nice. Very precise with all the details. Well, you guys wanted to see precision. Most people would have been lucky to pull off the face, but not very many people could have pulled off that shirt. It's a very good job. I love the hair because I love the dimension. I love the layers. It literally looks like you can see the kid's haircut. You definitely pulled it back together. It's nice to see people take a hard shot, come back, and you have. When you take a lump, you have to man up, accept what you did, move on, and never do it again. This is definitely your best tattoo up here. Thank you, guys. Shading's beautiful. The detail in the eyes, the ridge of the nose, the lips, everything fits beautifully. The fact that you were able to put in this little figure turning the stone, you've now created a story that's hitting composition out of the park. Thank you. Tattooed by the stunning Katie McGowan. Chris, what are your thoughts? Well, Katie, I think this one you really hit out of the park. Your color play in this mandala, the richness of the colors, and the juxtaposition of the cool to the warm really, really sets well. I love the balance that it has with the leaves. Everything you did on this tattoo is really spot on. It's one of the nicest tattoos I've seen you do. Just the outline alone is a great example of finesse. All these curves, very smooth, all have a very natural flow. All your little circles around the heart look very concentric. It's pretty great. Great, perfect, why are you crying? Yeah, it's just a good feeling. Come on, lady. This is what it's all about, right? Like, this is why you came. They were definitely happy tears, I needed it. Beautiful tattoo. Thanks. Make it. The details you were able to capture shows that you know a lot about contouring, creating depth and shadows, which are more advanced than just the fundamentals of tattooing. The perfect placement of the highlight and the pupil, it works incredibly. Using a shader and pulling off all these tricks, I can't wait to see you work with a liner. Thanks. Tattoo baby. Are you happy that you got this particular canvas? I haven't seen the movie, but one of the characters that I was most familiar with was this one. I was like, I hope I get the little green guy. <laughs> you really knocked it out of the park. Capturing the depth in his eyes and the underside of his chin where it's real dark and the light side of his face where it's real light, exactly what this challenge was asking. I felt like I had a lot of pressure. I'm doing something that I know nothing about, dealing with somebody who's an expert in it, and I just have to make sure that I give her a great tattoo. The contrast you put in this thing with the green and the purple, just that tiny little accent of purple under the collar, great way to bounce the color palette off of each other. I feel like you knocked off a lot of the big guys that underestimated you, and this is a big move for you. So keep the momentum. Ryan, I would love to see dueling hot rods, big, chunky 90s new school. That is everything I have ever hated. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is your new chest piece. Cool, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I have a lot more to prove. Are you ready? New School was the one challenge that everyone else in the finale did that I didn't do. You gotta breathe, okay? It's literally the opposite of my style. Vibrant, bright color, thick, chunky lines. I don't do anything like that. You got this. This really is the tattoo that's going to make it or break it for me. 11 minutes. I've made it this far because I've busted my ass. 
I deserve to be the first female Ink Master. Oliver, let's hear from you. Well, I gotta say, man, this was one tough challenge for you especially. I mean, this style is something that you weren't even tattooing when this style was prevalent. I remember the 90s. I remember tattooing at tattoo conventions with Clean Rock when he was doing all this stuff. And I mean, this, this is it. You could go, this is a time machine tattoo right here. You know, you go back. Tattoo is done, the line work, the color, the solid, the bright, the color play of making the chrome with the weird highlights, nailed it. Chris, your thoughts? Well, you know, this tattoo, it really, it does exude 90s. It does have that really 90s feel. I also, this is my 25th year tattooing, I grew up on this. So looking at this artwork, the outline quality, the color quality, the color palette and play, it really sets off a strong 90s presence. What for me really hits it is the use of the chrome because we were really chrome babies in the 90s. We would make anything chrome and you captured that look in this 90s field tattoo. I think you did a great job.